I let's be real for a minute. What the fuck is a theory? Well, you know, a, a theory do just be like a hypothesis and a guess, like you know, with like no, no like evidence or anything, you know. No, wrong. Okay, so a theory is an explanation of an aspect of the natural world and universe that has been repeatedly tested and corroborated in accordance with the scientific method. So, why do people say it's only a theory? Well, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, the main reason is that they usually don't understand what the definition of a scientific theory is. People will use the term theory in the sense that um, it's not been proven, especially when they talk about things like the theory of evolution. Now, this is something that people both love and hate. I don't know what it is. There's people that say there's no proof for evolution and that it's just a theory. Now, in layman's terms, if that was the case, then yeah, you'd be right. But a scientific theory, as we've mentioned, is something that can be uh, tested over and over again and added on by different people that aren't even connected. A good analogy for a theory is a court hearing. We have the defendant, who is our theory, our lawyer, who is our scientist, the jury, who is other scientists, and the judge is the peer review process. Witnesses would include evidence for said theory. So, our scientist is using the evidence to prove our theory. In the same way, a lawyer uses evidence to prove the defendant is innocent. Now, the jury might take a look at this evidence and think beyond a reasonable doubt that the theory is true, and the theory is then accepted as true, and the defendant is now free, free to go, or they don't, and the defendant is locked up and ignored. Now, the reason a courthouse is a really good analogy is because science does not always get it right, and new evidence needs to be provided in order for the jury to see that it is correct. And the same goes the other way around. Sometimes a theory is accepted, but then new evidence comes that actually disproves the theory. The same way as maybe a a murderer will, um, there won't be enough evidence to prove that he caused the murder, so he gets off scot-free. 20 years later, new evidence shows that he did cause the murder, and now he's arrested in prison. It works both ways. And that is why I think it's actually a good analogy.